M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. So just looking at Chirp here with the RT95. So to download Chirp, just go here to this link and go installer. It will go to your download folder at the top right there. Click it, download and verified, then click it again, Chirp, okay. Yes, and we'll, we'll let it run because we want to get the latest version. So we go next. All right, Chirp is currently running. So yeah, I have been testing it. So I'll just turn, close that down. And you can see that it's, it's already read from my RT95, but I will close it. Yes, and then we'll save it on my downloads for now. Save. Okay, so let's just keep running that one there, click OK, and then it's going to run, give you the latest version. And Chirp, you know, it will connect to hundreds and hundreds of radios. So finish, and then we've got Chirp there. Now with the Retivis, I've actually got the separation unit, which is very cool. I shall show you. Look at this. By Hayden on the Facebook group, or group. Make sure, faffing around a bit. So what you would do is take off your microphone, which is a very nice microphone, by the way. Clip in the cable. There's the microphone, backlit microphone. So there's my radio. So the microphone connector now goes to my USB connection, which I've got an extension that sort of just takes it to my PC, if you look here. Okay, just makes it easier that way. So you don't have to change anything on the actual radio. Once you've connected it, connected it to your PC, if you right click on your PC, device manager, you might have to run the driver, but if we double click ports, you've got prolific PL203GS USB serial. Hopefully you don't have to run the driver. My number is 27. Your number may be different. So minimize that. Now we'll go back to the software. So you just go radio, download from radio. And then I selected the 27 with a drop down on the top list, Retivis. Now just out of interest, it has got, where is it? Uh, did, 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 uh, I'm trying to find any tone. And then mm, 778, that's for the any tone people, okay? But I'm good at mine is a Retivis, so I just go back to Retivis. R S T. Right at the bottom, 95. And it does, when you say that it says it's experimental, accept the risk. And then look at the radio as it uploads. Click OK. And the radio says PC read. OK. It's a lovely looking radio. I mean, you can buy these for under £100. And try and when you get yours, try and get it with the cable included because the cables are like £15, £20. So you might as well. So you can see it's doing a good job there, cloning away. And it does show on the radio. Now these are VHF, UHF. They have a really good dual watch where it's so fast, it feels like it's actually listening to two at the same time. It's just full color screen, lovely microphone in my opinion. So I completely rate them and I also recommend the kit that you get because, you know, for separating the head, once it's done, I find it a lot easier to use the device. I can put the base unit wherever I like head unit and the microphone plugs into the head unit so it's one of the best things I think I've done so there you are we've read the radio and you can see there I'll just show you the settings tab so that channel locked at the top display mode is name look we can choose uh, VFO mode at the moment it says memory but this is I'm sure that this is what it will boot up to memory channel a and it tells you which memory it's going to go to when it turns on. VFO mode B. Just click. I won't do everything because we'll be here all day. Backlight brightness. Screen direction. You can flip the screen. Hand mic key brightness. Beep volume. Speaker volume. 
speaker switch. Host on hand mic is off. Remember that the microphone is also a speaker microphone. And so on and so on. You've got, so you've got all the settings there. These are the memory channels. You can bring in memories. Watch this. You go file. Pretty sure you go. Where is it? I saw this the other day. Open stock config. You've got this long list. Let's find, try and find one that's UK. Here's one here. Opens a new tab. All right, they're all weird frequencies. But what you can do is you can, you can sort of copy. If I just hold my finger on control, is it? Let's try it. I always get this. Control. Um, right, okay. There you go. Control and then scroll down. I can go copy. Go back to my original memory tab. So remember, every time you read from the radio, it opens a new tab. And I can go to the bottom if it allows more channels here. Right click. Let's try it. Paste. Ah, uh, it's only 20. Yeah, so I'm going to go no. I don't want to overwrite. But it looks like it's 20 memory channels in that box. And this is Chirp. I'm not sure. With the original software, which I have got, It does, there's a lot more than 20 memory channels. Look, there's loads more, but yeah, that's what we're seeing on Chirp. We go back to memories and let's just choose one at random. So double click, type in the frequency 145.750. Put in the name GB3BC. Then it's tone 94.8. And you can put in the shift, which would be minus. And then naught, I would say it's naught dot six oh oh. There you go. And then medium power. And you can make a little comment according to this. There it goes, 0 0.600, and then the one underneath is actually, click OK. Oh, it does prompt you for that. This one should be actually 7.600, that's for 70 centimetres. There you go. So we've got my node in there, we've got my, my all-star node, hubnet, let's put that in. We've got SMS20 simplexes in, in there. Uh, so yeah, we've got a few in there. Hubnet number five, yeah. So we go radio, upload to radio, click OK. So there you are. Chirp works fine. So there you go, all in. And if we just scroll through. As you can see, they're all there. And if we want dual receive, we're on dual receive there, look. Oh, just need to press that again. A and B. It's just a lovely sound, you know. So thanks for watching my channel. And uh, I highly recommend this set. If you're looking for a budget set that you can put in the car, run it off a cigarette lighter, I think it's 25 watts, I recommend it. And Chirp works fine. Uh, and I've done another video using the original software as well. Bye for now.